you how you're doing today. I have a brand new product for you just coming out. This is a Eufy Security 4K Ultra High Definition 2-pack with home base. And what's amazing about this is they are solar powered. But not only are they solar powered, they include a battery that's built in each camera that'll last one year even if you don't get any sunlight whatsoever. So basically, you will never have to charge these wireless cameras. And uh, that's a big thing. So most of the other high-end cameras like this, you'll have to go out and charge them once every few months or so. So that's a big deal. Uh, 4K, I'm really excited about. I currently have around my house all 1080p. So later in a separate video, I'll be doing a comparison between the 4K resolution on this versus I have some Nest cameras that only have 1080p and I'll do a bunch of different tests. Uh, this also does have color night vision, which is something I've never had on any camera, so I'm really interested to see how good that is. And this has a lot going for it. A big thing right here, free, no monthly fee at all to use this. Almost all other cameras have some sort of fee. They're typically not that expensive, but nothing beats free. Uh, model number on this kit is S330. They call it the Eufy Cam 3. Here's a little bit more information about it. Has has human recognition, vehicle detection. It'll give you a security report, a live view and recording history. It'll instantly notify you. And of course, two-way audio, as well as a spotlight. And as you can see here, no sunlight, no problem with a built-in 13,000 milliamp hour battery, which is humongous. I am surprised they put one in that big. So that's where you get basically the full year without having to worry about having to go out and charge it. Startle intruders with a spotlight. That's always cool. It is IP67 rated. So it's going to work perfectly fine outside, winter, uh, rain, whatever. It has expandable local storage. So built into this home base, you can actually plug in your own hard drive. All right, enough about this. Let's see exactly what you get in the box. There we have it. Here is the two cameras. Feels like some nice solid build quality. As you can see here is the solar panels. There is a USB-C connector in the back if needed. Here is the threaded port in the back to hang it on the mount, and I'll show you those. Here is a speaker for two-way audio. 4K, of course. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this out. I've never actually had 4K home security cameras, so I'm really, really hoping these are gonna be good. So two identical cameras, then the home base itself which is actually quite small. And I'll show you how to hook all this up as well in this video. And of course, I will show you a little bit about it. I'll show you a few different shots, one during the day, one at night, and so on and so forth. So you get the two cameras, the home base. Here is the mounting adapter. So this will screw to your house or wherever you want to put it. That's what holds it on. And then the camera itself threads onto here, like so. Here is a sticker for your door to let people know you have a camera. Quick start guide, of course. Here is a ethernet cable. And then of course a power plug for your home base. As well as the mounting hardware and screws. And then also a little reset, a little pin to reset it if need be. And then of course, lastly, a USB-C cable. All right guys, there we have it. That is everything included in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and 
go in and charge these overnight, even though you don't really need to because of the solar. But I like to, when I hook up new products, just make sure they have a full battery. And uh, I will show you how to connect it to the app and how easy that is, as well as showing you where I mount it and how easy that is as well. And hopefully guys, this is a really good product. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a good comparison video next with this versus the 1080p Google Nest camera that I've been using for years and I really love it. But when I do zoom in on those, it gets really pixelated and this 4K should help quite a bit. So if you're interested in, in the comparison video or if you're enjoying this video at all, please do me that big favor, like this video and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I would love for you to join this channel. All right, another thing I'd like to show you with this brand new home base is it can have expandable storage. Uh, it has 16 gigabytes built in, which is actually a pretty decent amount. Um, but I went ahead and ordered a one terabyte mini hard drive, and I'm going to show you how to put it in. Very, very simple. The top pops off here. Just push here on the back. Pops right off with a magnet. A screw here that you're going to pull out the hard drive holder. All right, so all they gotta do, insert your hard drive like this, manufacturer's label up top. You can see there's four holes here that line up. There's a couple of little nubs here that lock it in place as well. So we're gonna throw on these four screws real quick. There you go. Simply pop, slide this right back down. Pop it in. Go ahead and add in your screw that just secures it. So now we can just pop it open and slide it out so it won't get disengaged or anything like that. And that is it. And of course they recommend you do this not plugged in. Uh, so when I go plug this in, I'll show you the app on my phone and we should have one terabyte of space now on this. And that's gonna hold just a ton and a ton of video in 4K, so that's really nice. Here's just another quick closer look at this if I didn't show you it very well before. Power cable, ethernet cable, and there's two USB one and two, uh, and you can charge. It's a quick charge on the top one, and the other one is just another USB speaker down below. All right guys, here we have it. The app is back up. Really only takes, I unplugged it, put that in. Plugged it back up and within like 30 seconds, it was already reactivated and connected to the app. So if you click on the home base, now you can see I have 1,024 gigabytes of available space. And that's on top of the 16 gigabyte that's built into the system. So that is pretty cool. Press the sync button until you hear the beep. Ready to add device. Device was added successfully.
All right, that is how they're added. Pretty easy overall. And as you can see, I did my garage and backyard here. And let's see what happens when you just hit this play button. This should just be a live be feed. feed. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set these up in my house, mount them, and then I will show you some footage shortly, and then at the end of this video we'll discuss and see if we think it's worth the upgrade, and then definitely ask any questions below if you want to see specific tests with these, so I can make that happen for you guys. All right, here's some sample footage from my backyard. Depends on how good your connection is and everything, but I can tell you it looks much better on my phone than probably what you're seeing now. And then after YouTube does its degrading, um, it's probably not looking as good as what I see. But I can guarantee you one thing right now where you see that Dish HD on that satellite dish, on my 1080p camera, you would not see that at all. It would just be a giant blur. Here's one quick comparison. This is my Google Nest camera. And as you can see, it's night and day difference already. Especially when you zoom in, it's basically just blur. So if you guys want to see a lot more side-by-side -side footage like this, let me know and I'll make another video. But yeah, what a difference. It's the 1080p. This looks absolutely horrible. All right, back to the Eufy. This is a night shot. Um, once again, I'll do more better videos and photos whenever I, I do a secondary video. But uh, I think it looks great when you compare it to my 1080p Google ones. It's night and day. I already know for a fact I'm going to be keeping these over those for sure. So pretty happy with them. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video or learned something. If you did, Please smash that like button for me. Consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join this channel. And definitely comment below if you want to see anything specific about this. And I can do some head-to-head -head test. Or really anything you guys want. Just have to let me know down in the comments. You guys all have a fantastic day. And I appreciate you watching this. See ya. Oh, also real quick. I'm going to put a link down below with a coupon that will give you $50 off if you enter this coupon code into Amazon. So uh, if you're interested in this, might as well use it, save a little bit of money. And based off my first initial testing, I definitely recommend it. Thanks again. See ya.